Hi, I'm Maddie Grossloss. I play for Hoban Knights Soccer, and this is Ohio Sportsnet. I'm Ashley Dobbins. I'm from Hoban Knights Soccer, and this is Ohio Sportsnet. I'm Alex Schellen from Hoban Soccer, and this is Ohio Sportsnet. This is Patrick Dobbins, head coach of Hoban Girls Soccer. Uh, this is Ohio Sportsnet. Arguably the top team in Division II Ohio girls soccer is the Archbishop Hoban Knights. In 2014, Hoban made it all the way to Crew Stadium, and with a stacked roster returning, in 2015, the Knights plan to bring the trophy back to Akron. How excited are you for this year? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm excited to work with this, uh, my senior class and everyone else on the team. <laughs> we have a senior class who's been playing together a lot of RC soccer for a very long time and like this is our year, this is when we want it. Um, on top of that, uh, the freshmen coming in are very exciting. We have more players trying out this year than we have in a long time. We have 49, which is a huge number for us. And we've just been getting better every year. Two years ago, we had an undefeated regular season, followed by a state finalist last year, and the only place to go up from there is winning the state championship, so that's what we're working for. I'm extremely excited. With all the new freshmen coming in and our senior class is so strong, I think we're going to have an even better team than we did last year. We are very excited. Uh, we kind of got a taste last year going to Crusade about what winning is, and I think that we have learned from our mistakes and intend to improve upon them. And with the freshman class coming in and the strong senior class also, I really think we have a good chance at taking it all the way again. How was it playing at Crew Stadium last year? It was amazing. It was like the feeling of being in such a big place. And it, al it almost didn't even feel like I was at like the state championship. Like it's something you think about when you're younger and you're like growing up. And then when it comes, it's just like a surreal feeling. It was incredible, honestly. Like I actually never pictured myself playing in a professional stadium, but like going there and being in the crew locker room especially was just surreal. And um, we stayed overnight in a hotel also, so um, that was kind of cool, you know, staying with our teammates, team bonding type of stuff, getting on the bus in the morning, kind of felt like we were actual pros at some point. <laughs> it was amazing to have 400 kids from your school there cheering you on, um, fighting for you, being there for you. Um, it was just absolutely amazing and I intend to bring them there again. <laughs> what did you take away from that that's going to help you guys for this year? We know what the best team in the state looks like. We saw how they played. We're going to take notes from that game for the entire season, watch the film. Coach watches it all the time. And um, on top of that, just if, say, it happened again, we wouldn't be so new. We wouldn't be like babies in the situation, just like overcome with excitement about the whole deal. It's like been there, done that. Like, we can have a little swagger with it. I think it showed us how like a team should interact together because last year we had a lot of really good players like individually, but I think this year we're going to be better like together in like a team atmosphere. Like I know McNick, like their center mid was crazy and was like super fast and like super fluid and I know coach touches on that all the time how we have to be like constantly moving and interchanging parts and stuff like that and we, it would just kill people just like McNick killed us with that. I really think we learned the importance of possession and that it's not just a kick and shoot game. You have to work the ball up, you have to possess the ball, you have to know your teammates, you have to know your own strengths, and you have to put that all together and come out with a win. Do you almost feel like you have a target on your back now that you've been there? Oh, for sure, yeah. Oh, definitely, but I'm ready for it. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And there's teams in the regular season last year who beat us and we're probably thinking like, oh, like, we're better than them, we beat them, we should have gone there, that should have been us. But in the end, we just gotta ignore everyone else and play our game. Coach always tells us that uh, every game is the other team's Super Bowl. Just like when Walsh plays people, everyone's like, oh, we're playing Walsh, we have to play our best game, and now that's us. So what's it going to take to get back there and then get over the hump and get hold the trophy? I think it's going to take a lot of luck. Like, we have a lot of talent and stuff like that, but anything can happen. So we always need that luck aspect of it. It's going to take a lot of team unity. We have the talent. We just need everyone to gel and everyone to accept their roles and everyone to um, play the game like they know they can without being bothered by any outside uh, forces. Give me a prediction for how the season's going to end. State championship. <laughs> I think it's going to end with state championship. Oh, we're going all the way. <laughs> That's for sure. We're going back to Crew Stadium and we're taking first this time. <laughs>